QuickBooks Desktop 2024 Setup Sample Company File. Get ready and some coffee because we're locking into some non-stop QuickBooks Desktop 2024. Here we are on our desktop. We're going to be opening up QuickBooks Desktop, the enterprise version, as opposed to the pro version, which we downloaded in a prior presentation because we want to be experimenting with the new prepayment feature. So we're going to open this up. We're going to set up the sample company file that already has data in it, this being a file provided by Intuit the owner of QuickBooks. Before we do so, however, we want to just remember the relationship between the software and the data files as well as the backup files. So the data files have a relationship to the software on the desktop version similar to a Microsoft Word software and the Microsoft Word document. So we can have multiple Microsoft Word documents that can be opened up by the Microsoft Word software. When we do so, however, we usually simply double click on the actual icon of the document, which then opens the software, the document opening within the software. With QuickBooks, we usually double click on the software icon, which will then lead us to the last company file that we had open oftentimes. And if that's our only company file, that's the one we will use. But then if we wanna switch company files, we will switch while well within uh, the software. Also remember that backup files are different than the company files. That's gonna be a step different than our analogy with the Microsoft Word and the Microsoft Word documents. Because the data files are so large, then you might also want to make the zipped files, the backup files, which again are another kind of type of file. Okay, knowing that, let's double click on the software. It's going to be opening up over here. We've got uh, the software and we're going to, and, and this page uh, looks a little bit different if you're using like the sample company file. If you didn't have the sample company file, you'd have this box in the middle. You would still have the option to be opening up a, a sample company file, which is what we want to do. Also note that I'm a little zoomed in here. I'm doing that by going to my settings and I'm actually just going to uh, the display settings and zooming in on the screen to 150. I do that for presentational purposes, but some people might just like that when you're trying to adjust the size of the QuickBooks desktop uh, icons. We have then our options over here. I want to see a sample company file. That's the one we want. When we do this, we're going to set up a new company file in essence. When you set up a new company file, I recommend that you actually have a folder set up to be putting it uh, into. In other words, I have this folder here. I'm not going to put it on my desktop. Why? Because it creates not only one file, but a, a bunch of other kind of stuff sometimes. So it will clutter up your desktop quickly. Highly recommend not putting it on the desktop, but giving it its own folder that you're using specifically for the QuickBooks files so it doesn't get cluttered up. All right, so I want to see a sample company file. So it'll take a few minutes to download the sample file. Do you want to continue? I do. It didn't take much time at all. I'm going to look for the file on my computer on where I want to put it. I put a folder on my desktop. And what did I call it? I called it... QuickBooks uh, desktop, here it is. I put it on the desktop, so it's on the desktop and it's QuickBooks unearned revenue. That's the one that I want. And then it says sample company file. You could change the name if you have multi, you might make like this number one or two and so on. If you wanna change the name, if you're messing with multiple sample company files, that's the beauty of QuickBooks. Once we do this adjustment to it, you can always start over from the baseline by making another company file. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And it's going to download the file. And there, it's thinking. So now it says it wants to update my company file. If you plan to use this company file, multiple users. So I'm going to say, yeah, go ahead and update it. QuickBooks, do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. And then it says, you're opening a QuickBooks desktop sample file. Important, use the sample file to pr practice while you learn QuickBooks desktop. That's just what we're doing. Don't use it as your company file. Uh, while you're using the file, QuickBooks desktop will set today's date at 12.15 uh, as the, the date that's going to be today's date. Okay, so let's open it up. Let's do it. 
So there it is. The sample company file is set up. Now, if I want to close the sample company file and just test it out, you could go to the file tab over here and we could uh, close the company file to see if I can get out of it and go.